Hello everybody, my name is Yasas Navaratne and I am a Yon Reality AVR specialist in the headquarters of Italy. Today I'm gonna show you the way to connect uh, the Oculus Quest uh, to your PC so that you can uh, run uh, VT Lite. The first uh, thing that you have to consider is that uh, you have to have an Oculus Quest obviously and um, to connect your uh, headset to a uh, VR ready PC you have to get a high quality USB 3 type C cable. Talking about the software, uh, you have to um, have the latest version of the Oculus Quest application inside your headset that's not a problem normally because uh, every time you start your uh, headset you get uh, the new version uh, updated uh, automatically if you don't uh, get it uh, the thing that you have to do is to restart your headset and you will get uh, the latest version apart from that you have to install some application inside your computer uh, firstly the oculus desktop application then uh, the steam vr application because um, the vr platform application is a steam uh, application and it needs that uh, you have uh, both steam and steam vr installed in your computer talking more in specific about the hardware the oculus quest have uh, two versions uh, the 64 gigabyte one and the 124 gigabyte one both of them are good uh, for this task the cable that uh, you have to get is a USB Type-C one because uh, the port inside the uh, Oculus Quest is a USB Type-C uh, It's recommended that you use a 3.0 one or above uh, but uh, thanks to the latest uh, release of uh, um, the Oculus application uh, you could also use the 2.0 one uh, but uh, it's uh, still in a better release and uh, you also have to um, add uh, some uh, steps uh, to get it running uh, but uh, really is, uh, the recommendation is that you use a 3.01 you also have to remember that uh, not every PC is good for a VR experience uh, so it has to be VR ready um, the graphic card has to be at least an NVIDIA GTX 1060 um, the memory has to be at least 8 gigabytes but it's recommended that you use a 16 uh, gigabytes uh, RAM uh, the CPU has to be an Intel i5 at least uh, and uh, really it's really important that uh, you consider that uh, uh, your graphic card has a, a USB type C port that uh, supports uh, Thunderbolt 3.0 that because uh, apart from uh, transferring data you have uh, also uh, to power the headset with your cable uh, via the PC. Apart from uh, uh, installing uh, the, the Quest application inside your headset that uh, is done automatically and with uh, the beginner guide, uh, we will show you how to install all the other applications uh, to your PC. Uh, the first thing is to install the Oculus application. So you go to the op Oculus uh, site. In the main menu, you click to the headsets so you can choose uh, the um, oculus quest then you get uh, to the main uh, uh, oculus quest page you choose inside this menu the setup so that you can uh, download uh, the software that you need for uh, doing the oculus link functionality that uh, makes you connect your uh, pc to the uh, oculus quest you click to the download software button and uh, then you open the oculus uh, setup it will open uh, a page uh, where you can start uh, the installation you get started then you agree to the terms and the conditions and you start your installation after you finish you will uh, open uh, the oculus application the first thing that you they will uh, ask you is to sign in if you don't have an, uh, an account you have to create one or you can also use the facebook account after you finish uh, uh, to register in the main menu of the oculus application uh, you click to the devices and you add a, a new headset you choose uh, the Oculus Quest then you continue and uh, 
the application will ask you to plug uh, the USB type C cable to the PC and to the headset. Uh, the application will uh, uh, show you if uh, the cable is uh, connected uh, in a stable manner. Inside the headset, you have to enable the Oculus Link uh, in the beta version. So now uh, your USB type um, C 3.0 or above is uh, connected and you will see in the, inside the devices that uh, your Oculus Quest is active and connected. If you only have a 2.0 uh, cable, you have to go to the settings and then to the beta section so that you can enable the public test channel. So you can uh, try the beta release of the uh, uh, of the 2.0 compatibility cable. If uh, everything works correctly, you should see the um, Oculus Home environment inside your headset. Everything will work fine, like uh, you will do inside the wrist. And uh, if you need to go back and uh, disable the Oculus Link, uh, you should press the first button that you see and go back to the Oculus Quest menu. Then uh, you go to the Steam uh, site, so you can uh, also install Steam. You install the, the Steam application, so you open the Steam uh, setup executable. You start uh, the installation, you choose the language and also the directory where the application will be installed. After the installation and also the updates are finished, you could open uh, Steam. They will ask you to create an account or to log in with uh, an existing account. Then you will open uh, Steam where you could uh, install Steam VR. After you finish to install Steam VR, you reopen Steam, you select another time Steam VR, and uh, the Steam VR application will uh, try to find uh, the device, in this case the Oculus Quest, and if it's fine, uh, they will show that the Oculus Quest is connected uh, with Steam VR. Inside uh, your headset, uh, you should see the Steam VR uh, home environment. Before uh, using uh, VT Lite, you have to remember that you also have to uh, download the, the latest version of the VR desktop uh, application. So you enter your account inside the platform, you click uh, the button uh, in the top uh, right, you click to download, and uh, in inside uh, the AVR desktop section, you click to the download button. So you could uh, uh, install the, the latest version of the AVR desktop uh, application. You start uh, the installer. And uh, after you finish to install uh, the AVR desktop application, you could finally uh, um, run a, a lesson with a VT light. So you, you, you get inside the library and you choose an asset that you want to see. You launch it in VR and you run uh, the AVR desktop application. You have to remember that uh, both uh, the Oculus application and Steam VR has to be running when you start uh, the VR desktop application. So now you can enjoy all the lessons that you want, like you were doing with the HTC Vive and uh, the Oculus Rift. So that's it for um, this tutorial. If you have any questions or concern about how to uh, get started with um, the Oculus Quest uh, uh, running with your PC, don't hesitate to contact me via mail and uh, enjoy your lessons.